Let's jump over to our man, Kevin Hinks. Every trading day, folks, 12 noon Eastern time from the TD Ameritrade Network, Fast Market. Your host, Kevin Hinks, Tom White, the whole team at TD Ameritrade Network, folks. Outstanding guest lineups. They break down the day's market action. They walk you through three hypothetical trade setups. And we got another data point this morning. Kevin, good morning. Good morning, Tommy O'Brien. Yep, P PPI uh, came in very similar to what CPI did, right? Lower than the overall consensus. Still, we have inflation levels headline of 8% in the year-over-year -year headline number, 6.7% uh, in the year-over-year -year, uh, excluding energy, the core, and 5.4% with ex food and energy and trade services. But, Tommy, the consensus were for about a half percent higher in terms of the headline, eight and a half versus eight. The, the core, 7.2 versus 6.7. So the market likes the fact that you've got big movement, much like the CPI number last Thursday in terms of inflation at the producer level. Now, Tommy, I should warn your viewers that the reaction from the PPI usually is not as strong as some of the other inflation data points that we get during the month. Why? It's just my history that that's what I've noticed. Could, could today change? Possibly. But uh, right now, you, you've got the NASDAQ 2.5% higher to start the day, and you've got the dollar significantly lower. You've got yields significantly lower. So interesting start to the day. Great earnings and a great message out of Walmart. Not so great out of Home Depot, but, again, a really good market day setting up here. Yeah, Walmart, man. I, I was reading those numbers this morning, and I actually said to myself, just sitting in the office getting ready, wow, um, revenue just through the roof, man. And back to the PPI for a moment, and there's nothing like experience, Kevin. That's why we talk to you every morning. That's why I watch Fast Market, man, so we appreciate it. Uh, you've talked to us before, and we're getting so much economic data, and it's moving the market so much right now. And you've talked about kind of what are the most valuable data points, Kevin. I know PPI sure. is somewhere in there, CPI is somewhere in there, non-farm payrolls is a big number. But for the viewers that haven't seen you go over that with me, would you just go through some of those data points? Um, because boy, they're driving the market right now that you look at on a monthly basis in the market. Because I first time I heard you say that, man, I was almost writing it down because they are so important right now. Yeah, I'll do two things for you, Tommy. The four looks we get in inflation during the month are important too. PPI is one of them, but I say PPI is the distant fourth of the four looks at inflation we get. We get wages in non farm payrolls, and we get CPI data, we get the, the PCE data within income and outlays, and then we get the PPI data. So four good looks at inflation during a month. Now, the six big data points that I look at, Tommy, although we look at all the data, the six that are really important, you just named the number one, non-farm payrolls and unemployment, right? Now, what's turned into a close second is CPI, right, that, that we look at. Then things like durable goods retail sales that will get out tomorrow, personal income and outlays, Tommy, and then PPI as well is something we look at. So top six, you can, you know, depending on uh, trends in the economy, you can look at bring in a couple other ones. Sometimes consumer sentiment is an important number, consumer confidence, everyone likes to look at. But Tommy, it's non-farm payrolls, it's CPI, which has really become you know, if non-farm payrolls and unemployment is 1A, CPI has become 1B in terms of economic data. But those are the num number one, the, you know, that top six that we look at. Tomorrow we'll get retail sales. So that'll be a really good look at the, um, the U.S. consumer, Tommy. So, yeah, those are the data points, the top tier that we look at. And it's going to be interesting, man, because like I said, those and, and thank you for laying it out. And folks, we archive every show we do on our YouTube channel. If you missed it, if you didn't write it down, go back and check it out if you want to, because uh, they are driving so much action. Those numbers, the CPI, we saw it on Thursday, PPI today, retail sales, like you mentioned tomorrow. Um, and before you know it, Kevin, it's going to be the end of November Thanksgiving and we'll be coming into December numbers. Walmart. Uh, depending on where you are right now, Kevin, in retail, right? I mean, Amazon, I read the numbers on Walmart today and joked to myself. I said, well, I guess that's where all the Amazon money is going um, yep. because they don't have a revenue problem, to say the least. With that, we go forward. A big week of retail earnings, man. What are you guys talking about on Fast Market coming up today at 12? These shows are easy to do, Tommy, because you're getting a really good look. So for today's show, we'll, we'll trade Target, we'll trade Lowe's, and we'll trade TJX. 
So another really good look at the U.S. consumer. After Home Depot's numbers, remember, Home Depot beat on earnings, Tommy, but it was a little different story than Walmart, right? Number of transactions fell 4.3%, but the customers spent 8.8% more. So we'll get a look and compare lows to that. Then we'll get a look at Target. Remember, it was inventories, Tommy, that plagued Walmart and Target two quarters ago. Well, guess what? Inventory levels, they've done a great job of working through that at Walmart. That's another reason why the stock is up so much this morning. It's not only the numbers they put up in terms of groceries, and but it's also, Tommy, inventories. They're through inventories down to first quarter, 32% inventories increased. That's why the stock sold off. Second quarter, 25%. Now, 13% year-over-year growth in inventories. Tommy, a much more manageable number. And it's pretty cool. They cleared through that inventory while they crushed it on revenue and beat on earnings on top of it, right? Because anybody can clear through the revenue, I guess, but are you going to be able to do it in a way where you can still make money and bring money to the top and the bottom line? And they did it, man. And yeah, always interesting when you go second, man. Target, they get to go second. Expectations increase. They're up about a dollar today with the market, of course, no, excuse me, four dollars up to 176, getting a pop on those Walmart numbers. Kevin, I appreciate it as always on a busy morning, man. We'll be watching at 12 o'clock today. And we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thanks for having me on, Tommy. Have a great day.